In Grange Hill tomorrow at 5.40, Amanda and Belinda set off on their exploration and get more than they bargained for. What happens when a group of Hillites go on an Austrian walking holiday is told in Grange Hill, Home and Away, the latest novel by Robert Leeson. It's available from booksellers. Now on to the contemporary style of music and art reflected in today's visit, Riverside. we're hearing is from the Psychic TV album that's just come out. A lot of the press are treating Psychic TV as a band, but in fact it's much more than that. Can you tell us a bit about some of the concepts that you're dealing with? <laughs> no, not at all. Not in, the, not in the time that you get on a right. television program. I mean, the whole problem with the kind of television that we're on now is that it tries to give you the answer to the universe in like one minute, and anything which is giving real answers must use longer periods of time and we work in 20 minutes 30 minutes right. this video that we're seeing here being mixed by sleazy one of your partners is an integral part of psychic tv isn't it well yeah we're a video group integrated with music we're not a music group using video and there are 20 30 people working with us using us as a platform for things they want to do okay so we're going to have a close look now at one of the videos that peter christopherson is mixing for us from psychic tv It is the key to the temple. All our music is whimsical. Whatever appeals to us at any given time in style, then we will have a bash at it. And whether we execute that 100% technically right isn't of very great interest to us, because music per se isn't of interest to us. But records as bits of plastic with ideas and attitudes on them are of interest to us. You, you use the words I and we in a new way. Could you explain that? Well, the I is, the, is what we call the flat people who assume that the person that they've been donated by social conditioning is a one-dimensional actual person. The we is how we see the world, which is that everybody is made up of lots and lots of different personalities, fantasies, attitudes and that a multi-personality is in fact the reality not the I personality and that where those two things meet is the position that we're trying to work at to break people across from seeing themselves as one-dimensional and having no potential to seeing themselves as being almost anything they want to be and that those different things don't have to always agree in, a, in the usual accepted way. Sex and sexuality seem to be um, one of the more obvious subject matters that you're dealing with. Why sex and sexuality? Because it's the area that most people would like to make greater progress with than they are at the moment. And because we feel it's no mistake that in every society and every tribal structure there are laws governing sexuality. And to us that suggests that sexuality has in itself some power and energy which is it, these societies and controls have a vested interest in suppressing that freedom is taken away when there is a threat. Therefore, there is a threat to control from sexuality. Therefore, it ought to be investigated and liberated. Um, you, in fact, have an, as if an alternative, alternative convention that there is a corporate image with the haircut and the grey clothes and so on. Is that not a contradiction? If you're up challenging people to On the find surface, their own. it's a contradiction, but a lot, of the a lot of the time what we try to do is get people to actually examine ambiguities and, uh, and hopefully get them to think a little bit about their uh, prejudices about specific ways of dressing or specific ways of cutting your hair or whatever it is like that. And uh, we like to use contradictions and to have a very uniform and non-uniform 
idea combined appeals to us on a mischievous level. And it also is quite obvious to us that people do not have to have their hair the way we do in order to understand what we're talking about or do interesting things. And by declaring that we can look vaguely uniform but have no fear of losing our individuality is to stress in another way, from another direction, that everything basically is going on in here so and not out here. So because we're in a society of the superficial and the style. So we're playing a game with style in a sense to negate it. So to share Psychic TV's philosophies, um, one can deviate from the norm in any shape or form. Well, you have to, otherwise you don't share the philosophy. So in a sense, it's a red herring. The way we look is a red herring, which is a test to find out whether people really understand what we're doing.